benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, BPPV, one of the most common causes for the symptom of vertigo. What is it? So we know that this is our vestibular bony labyrinth. Then we have our semicircular canal. We have our anterior canal. I'm sorry, our posterior semicircular canal, our anterior semicircular canal, and our horizontal semicircular canal. And at the end of those canals, we have the ampulla. And the cupola sits inside there, which is that membrane that detects movement based on where endothelium is going. We also have our otolithic organs, the utricle and the sac, and they sit within this vestibule. And we know that on top of those otolithic organs, we have those calcium carbonate crystals, otolith. Every once in a while, one of these crystals breaks off and it enters into these canals. Let's say the posterior semicircular canal, that's the most common. And it sits down here. And the problem is, is that not very often if we turn our head in awkward positions, it would actually help us clear this. Especially since once this higher density calcium carbonate crystal is within the actual canal, it messes up our systems. It gives us too much information too little information depending on how the head is moving. And so what happens is because it's dislodged, every time you move that endolymph is moving, this hair, this, I'm sorry, this crystal is moving along with it, creating extra drag, creating extra deflection or reflection of that uh, cupola within the ampulla, which gives bad feedback. That misinformation that is coming in from the vestibular organ or from the vestibular nerve, it's not quite reading the same as your visual and your somatosensory system. Because of that disagreement, that's vertigo. And so to treat BPPV, you actually have to take the head and turn it to a point those crystals dump back out and enter back into the vestibule. 